Hey friends, on today's video, we are going to be setting up this Garmin Vivo Smart 4. You can see the model number right up there at the top. We're just gonna be setting it up for the first time. Super easy, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually make sure the watch is charged. If it is charged, you should see this little setup screen right here. And the first thing we can actually do is just choose our language. You can either scroll up and down if you'd like to find something that's not uh, English, or again, we can just select the English version right here. And so as you can see, you get a little check mark, and then we are going into the Bluetooth setup mode. So at this point, we need to jump onto my mobile phone and download the Garmin application. I'm going to be doing this on an iPhone, but everything is going to look very, very similar if you use an Android device. All right, let's get on my phone. Okay, so we are currently on my iPhone and I've gone into the application store. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the search function and I'm going to type in Garmin. And then if I click there, you will see that we have the Garmin Connect app that comes up right there at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and click the Get button. And then as you can see, that is gonna be downloading right there to our phone. Okay, once you download the app, go ahead and open it up. And once you open up the application, you may get a notification asking if the application can have access to your Bluetooth. Go ahead and click OK on that. We're then taken to the home screen here. And if you have a Garmin account, go ahead and sign in. If you need to create an account, this is where you're going to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and click the create an account. Go ahead and read their legal end user license agreement. And then you can go ahead and click on that little check mark. And then this is where we're gonna type in our account information. You can do your name, email, address, and a password. This is information that Garmin is gonna store. So do know that they will have this information. Uh, available to them. So again, make sure you understand the privacy that you are setting up for. And again, you have some options there at the bottom. You can get product news uh, via emails, and you also need to make sure you're at least 13 years old. I'm going to go ahead and type in my information. We'll go to the next screen. Okay, so after you enter your account information, you're going to be logged in. And the first thing we are going to come to is a screen that is asking for permission to connect with the Apple application health. Now, again, this is native to an iPhone. It's going to be a little bit different if you are using an Android phone. So you can kind of go through and you can basically select all of the individual data that you want to sync with the health app. And I'm going to skip all this at this time and we can click the don't allow button up top. If you do hit this, you can see a little allow button opens at the top right hand corner. Again, I'm just gonna skip this for now. So next we're gonna be looking for the six digit pin that's gonna be on the device we're trying to connect with. If your watch has defaulted back to the home screen, simply click on that language button again and it will go back into that Bluetooth mode. Once it's in Bluetooth mode, I'm actually going to go ahead and click the connect it. All right, and it did send a code and basically all I'm gonna do is type in that six digit code that's now showing up on the screen of the phone. Okay, once you enter that six digit pin code, you can see that the completion of the setup begins. And this takes basically just a few minutes to complete. Okay, as soon as the pairing is complete, you'll see a nice big check mark. You'll also see a mirroring check mark on your Vivo Smart. And now you're all paired and ready to go. Let's hit the next button. Now, a few of these things that we're gonna be going through are more for your online profile and your application profile with Garmin. Again, the watch is going to be paired directly to your phone to get time and updates and those kind of things, which is kind of nice. So let's go ahead and just click next on this profile here. So there's also some privacy settings. You can share your workout information with other folks. As you can see, once you click on one of those uh, boxes, there is options there, again, that you can play with. You can share your activities, your daily steps, your profile, all sorts of different things. Again, this is all stuff that you can set up later uh, once you have been using the watch as well. So the next steps here are gonna help with the watch's accuracy. And basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be inputting some personal information in order to get the most accurate data possible. So we're gonna set up our gender here. Let me hit mail, next. How tall, we can do five foot, oh, I'll do five foot 11 there. How much do you weigh? 
we can do 180. Let's do next. And then obviously you can type in your date of birth. And this is just going to be, you know, obviously whatever it, it is for you. And again, all this is mostly just for specific uh, data to help, again, with accuracy. It's going to ask when we sleep so that the watch will know when inactivity is scheduled. So let's say between 10 and uh, 7 p.m. Again, we, our bedtimes can adjust a little bit from there. This is also kind of nice to have the do not disturb settings on during this sleep window so that it doesn't wake you up in the middle of the night with notifications. I'm going to click yes on this. This is also going to help us with wrist placement. And again, this is primarily for accuracy of data as well as the watch displaying your data in the appropriate way based off of where you are currently holding or wearing the watch. So I wear mine typically on the left. So we also have the option to select a watch face, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can see you can do these various ones here where you can see steps and goals and those kind of things. Again, uh, this is just going to be for the Vivo Smart uh, watch. So that looks kind of good. Let's stick with that one and hit the next button. And then we can also set some goals here. Uh, goal setting is kind of cool because, it again, the watch will show you how close you are to those daily goals. Uh, you can do goals for steps, floors, climbs, and obviously intensity of workout for the amount of workout uh, minutes that you're looking to do every day. Again, I'm going to uh, skip this for now. So I was going to ask for location uh, permission. I'm going to skip that at this point. And then this is also asking for uh, calendar access so it can sync up with your calendar. And again, it will be able to show you your daily tracking if you have gotten your workouts in. I'm going to skip for this as well. So the other thing that you do have to manually do is make sure that you're opening the app routinely so that your workouts and your watch data will sync with your phone. So let's go ahead and sync it now. And this is probably gonna go pretty quick. As you can see, it really did go really quick because it didn't have very much to sync. Again, if you haven't opened the app in a couple of days or even weeks, then this process may take a little bit longer for it to sync. And that's basically it. Again, we can learn a little bit more about navigation and some of the basics of the watch by going through these tutorials here. At this point, I'm gonna skip it. And there you go, we are all set. Okay, so there you go, that is the setup process. Again, there's a few more details. I highly suggest you get into the app and make sure you customize the watch for your specific needs. But hopefully this has helped. Friends, if it has, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button for us. It lets us know we're making helpful videos. Subscribe, because we're actually gonna be making a bunch more Garmin tutorial videos, and those are gonna be coming out really, really soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on the next one.